the Black Sea deluge is a hypothesized catastrophic rise in the level of the Black Sea circa 5600 BC due to waters from the Mediterranean Sea breaching a sill in the Bosporus Strait. The hypothesis was headlined when the New York Times published it in December 1996, shortly before it was published in an academic journal. While it is agreed that the sequence of events described did occur, there is debate over the suddenness, dating and magnitude of the events. Two opposing hypotheses have arisen to explain the rise of the Black Sea, gradual, and oscillating. The oscillating hypothesis specifies that over the last 30,000 years, water has intermittently flowed back and forth between the Black Sea and the Aegean Sea in relatively small magnitudes, and does not necessarily presuppose that there occurred any sudden refilling events. Flood Hypothesis In 1997, William Ryan and Walter Pittman published evidence that a massive flooding of the Black Sea occurred about 5600 BC through the Bosporus. Before that date, glacial meltwater had turned the Black and Caspian Seas into vast freshwater lakes draining into the Aegean Sea. As glaciers retreated, some of the rivers emptying into the Black Sea declined in volume and changed course to drain into the North Sea. The levels of the lakes dropped through evaporation, while changes in worldwide hydrology caused overall sea level to rise. The rising Mediterranean finally spilled over a rocky sill at the Bosporus. The event flooded 155,000 km2 of land and significantly expanded the Black Sea shoreline to the north and west. According to the researchers, 40 km3 of water poured through each day, 200 times the flow of the Niagara Falls. The Bosporus flume roared and surged at full spate for at least 300 days. Samplings of sediments in the Black Sea by a series of expeditions carried out between 1998 and 2005 in the frame of a European project assemblage and coordinated by a French oceanographer, Gilles Laricole, brought some new inputs to Ryan and Pittman's hypothesis. These results were also completed by the NOAA project led by Petko Dimitrov from the Bulgarian Institute of Oceanology. Furthermore, calculations made by Mark Siddle predicted an underwater canyon that was actually found. Equals criticism equals, while some geologists claim it as fact that the sequence of events described did occur, there is debate over their suddenness and magnitude. In particular, if the water level of the Black Sea had initially been higher, the effect of the spillover would have been much less dramatic. A large part of the academic geological community also continues to reject the idea that there could have been enough sustained long-term pressure by water from the Aegean to dig through a supposed isthmus at the present Bosporus, or enough of a difference in water levels between the two water basins. Countering the hypothesis of Ryan and Pittman are data collected prior to its publication by Ukrainian and Russian scientists including Valentina Yankohomj who claims that the water flow through the Bosporus repeatedly reversed direction over geological time depending on fluctuation in the levels of the Aegean Sea and the Black Sea. This contradicts the hypothesized catastrophic breakage of a Bosporus sill. Likewise, the water levels calculated by Yanko Homch differed widely from those hypothesized by Ryan and Pittman. In 2007, a research anthology on the topic was published which makes much of the earlier Russian research available in English for the first time, and combines it with more recent scientific findings. A five-year cross-disciplinary research project under the sponsorship of UNESCO and the International Union of Geological Sciences was conducted 2005 Euro 9. A February 2009 article reported that the flooding might have been quite mild. According to a study by Gios and Al, the level in the Black Sea before the marine reconnection was 30 m below present sea level, rather than the 80 m, or lower, of the catastrophe theories. If the flood occurred at all, the sea level increase and the flooded area during the reconnection were significantly smaller than previously proposed. It also occurred earlier than initially surmised, circa 7400 BC, rather than the originally proposed 5600 BC. Since the depth of the Bosporus, in its middle furrow, at present varies from 36 to 124 m, with an average depth of 65 m, a calculated Stone Age shoreline in the Black Sea lying 30 m lower than in the present day would imply that the contact with the Mediterranean may never have been broken during the Holocene, and hence that there could have been no sudden waterfall-style transgression. 
a new study based on process length variation of the dinoflagellate cyst lingulodinium mishero forum shows no evidence for catastrophic flooding. See also, Flood Myth, Noah's Ark, Zane Clean Flood, Mediterranean Sea 5.33 million years ago. References and sources, references. Sources, Aksu, Ali E. A. L. 2002. Persistent Holocene outflow from the Black Sea to the Eastern Mediterranean contradicts Noah's flood hypothesis. GSA Today, May 2002, 12, 5, 4 Euro 10 doi, 10.1130 over 1052-5173, 2002, 0122.0 co. 2, Sperling, M. Schmiedel, G. Heemleben, C. Emery, K. C. Alenkusa, H., and Groots, P. M. 2003. Black Sea Impact on the Formation of Eastern Mediterranean Sap Propel S1? Evidence from the Mamara Sea. Paleogeography, Paleoclimatology, Paleoecology 190, 9-21. Gar Paragraph Cowan, E., Algen, O., Tur, H., Maria Section, E., Tar 1 quarter a KER, A. And Angstrom M. Make, M. 2005. Delta Formation at the Southern Entrance of Istanbul Strait, a new interpretation based on high resolution seismic stratigraphy. Geo Marine Letters 25, 370 to 377. Erez, K., Ryan, W. B. F., Kagate, N., Sankar, or, Loricole, G., Menot, G., and Bard. E. 2008 The timing and evolution of the post-glacial transgression across the Sea of Mamara Shelf south of a degree Stambul. Marine Geology 243, 57-76. Dimitrov, Petko and Dimitrov, Dimitar 2004. The Black Sea, the Flood, and the Ancient Myths. Barna, Slovena. Keith, M. L. and Anderson, G. M. 1963. Radiocarbon dating, fictitious results with mollusk shells. Science, August 13, 1963, 141, 3581, 634 Euro 637 DOI, 10.1126 Science. 141.3581.634, National Geographic News February 6, 2009. Noah's flood not rooted in reality. After all, Nature. August 12, 2004. Noah's Flood. 430, 718-19, New Scientist. May 4, 2004. Flood hypothesis seems to hold no water. 2341, 13, Ryan, WBF. Pittman 3, WC, AL. 1997. An abrupt drowning of the Black Sea Shelf. Marine Geology, 138, 119 Euro 126. Yanko Homj, Valentina. 2007. The Black Sea Flood Question, Changes in Coastline, Climate and Human Settlement. Springer ISBN 1-4020-4774-6. Sheep Oligon AL. The Late Glacial Great Flood in the Ponto Caspian Basin. In The Black Sea Flood Question Changes in Coastline, Climate and Human Settlement. Springer. 2006, pages 119 Euro 148, 1. Further reading, Geosan, Livu Al. 2009. Was the Black Sea catastrophically flooded in the early Holocene? Quaternary Science Reviews. January 2009, 28, 12-2, 1-6 doi, 10.1016 slash jquasareev. 2008.10.012, this article is available online with unrestricted access here at the sponsoring institution's website. Noah's Not-So-Big Flood, Loricole, G. 2, A. L. 2009. High frequency sea level fluctuations recorded in the Black Sea since the LGM. Global and planetary change, March 2009, 66, 1 to 2, 65 to 75. Ballard and the Black Sea, Ryan, William B. 
Pittman, Walter C., Noah's Flood, The New Scientific Discoveries About the Event That Changed History, Simon & Schuster, ISBN 0-684-85920-3, Dimitrov, D2010. Geology and Non-Traditional Resources of the Black Sea. LAP Lambert Academic Publishing. ISBN 978-3-8383-8639-3. 244p. The Late Glacial Great Flood in the Ponto Caspian Basin, Yanko Homj, Valentina, Alan S. Gilbert, Niccolo Panin and Pavel M. De Lukhanov, ed. The Black Sea Flood Question, Springer, pages 999, ISBN 978. 1, 4020, 4774 9, Ship of YY, TH Sent. Yalamov, P. Dimitrov, D. Dimitrov and B. Shkodrov Initiation of the Migration of Vedic Aryans to India by a Catastrophic Flooding of the Black Sea by Mediterranean Sea during the Holocene Euro Extended Abstracts of Limpax 3 International Conference of IGBP, pages, 5th to 8th March 2009, Chandigarh, India. Pages 126 to 127. The Black Sea Deluge is a hypothesized catastrophic rise in the level of the Black Sea circa 5600 BC due to waters from the Mediterranean Sea breaching a sill in the Bosporus Strait. The hypothesis was headlined when the New York Times published sea in relatively small magnitudes, and does not necessarily presuppose that there occurred any sudden refilling events. Flood hypothesis. In 1997, William Ryan and Walter Pittman published evidence that a massive flooding of that did in December 1996, shortly before it was published in an academic journal. While it is agreed that the sequence of events described did occur, there is debate over the suddenness, dating and magnitude of the events. Two opposed Black Sea occurred about 5600 BC through the Bosporus. Before that date, Glacial meltwater had turned the Black and Caspian Seas into vast freshwater lakes draining into the Aegean Sea. As glaciers retreated, some of the ring hypotheses have arisen to explain the rise of the Black Sea, gradual, and oscillating. The oscillating hypothesis specifies that over the last 30,000 years, water has intermittently flowed back and forth between the Black Sea and the Aegean.